Okay, so I was messing around with my Z590 Dark as well as with my uh, uh, RTX 3090 Kimpin SLI and I was trying to get Windows 7 to work to run some uh, old tests like 3D Mark Vantage and so on. I accidentally uh, managed to uh, modify the LAN drivers uh, for this board because it seems so that these uh, newest LAN chips they aren't supported anymore officially for Windows 7. So the, for example, the Z590 Dark has dual i225V uh, Ethernet ports and you cannot find drivers for those ports for Windows 7. So uh, I think that's one of their ways to uh, try to force you to update to a newer operating system. But uh, you, what you will have to do is uh, you need to download. Well, I got it working with the 25.2 driver, but we can actually try to do the same process on the newest driver, so 26.4, I think. But uh, so after the BIOS screen, ramp F8 on your keyboard just when the uh, operating system is about to boot so that you can find these advanced boot options and select disable driver signature enforcement so that we can force install the drivers. Uh, for the LAN ports. So let's go to the operating system and let me show you. Okay, so here on the desktop I have the 25.2 uh, LAN drivers which I already got working and then also the, I think these are the newest drivers, so 26.4. So we can try to do the same process on the newer drivers as well. So uh, what you have to do is you have to point out the correct folder from this driver pack, the uh, correct one for these uh, i225Vs was Pro2500 and there's only one fo folder or subfolder inside it. So this is the E2F68. This is the uh, inf file we have to uh, modify. So uh, let's open it up. And the thing you have to do over here, so you only have to look at these lines as well as this line over here you must not change this one so what we have to do is we just come back down so we uh, only uh, remove that part so we have uh, percentage intel percentage equals intel nt amd 64 and we do the same thing over here we just uh, remove the versions and that's pretty much it. Just make sure you uh, have this, uh, I don't know how to so say this in English, but so that you have this at the end. So Intel NT AMD 64, then we just save. And now let's try to uh, force install this driver onto the uh, Ethernet ports. Now, when you do this for the first time, you might have, uh, well, let me show you. So we go to device manager. So. Uh, at the start, you may not have network adapters at all. You may have like other devices and network listed over here. So you have to select that one. So when you try to install it. So uh, what I will try to do now is uh, I will, uh, well, uh, for some reason I have three of these over here. So what I'll do, I'll uh, just select update driver software. But again, if you only have one network thing over here, you must do the same thing. So right click and update driver software. I'm sure you can follow these steps just fine. So update driver software, browse my computer for driver software. Then uh, let me pick from a list of device drivers. And here you may have to select like network adapters and so on. And we do, uh, so here you have to select have disk, browse, then you need to search for the actual driver. So you can see it was already pointed at my LAN 25.2 as, as it worked. Now I go to LAN Pro 2500 and, and just select this one. And look, we can select it. We have Intel Ethernet Controller 3 i225V. Windows has successfully updated your driver software. And now we just have to reboot. I'm not fully sure did it update it on both of the Ethernet ports. I need to check that out now. So I'll just reboot once. 
Okay, so I tried both of the Ethernet ports, but they just don't seem to work. So we have to force install the older version back. So uh, no life at the Ethernet ports whatsoever. Now this whole thing was first discovered by the folks over at windraid.com. So the same guys who discovered the uh, how to run a Coffee Lake CPU in a Z170 or Z270 based motherboard. So huge thanks to the uh, folks over at winrate.com once again. So there's a lot of good information on that website over there. But yeah, so uh, uh, let's just go back to device manager. And I'll try to update this one over here. So update driver software, bros. And I will go back to LAN 25.2, Pro 2500, NDI S68, whatever. Oh, sorry. So, a uh, half disk. We have to use the half disk thingy. So, uh, LAN 25.2, Pro 2500. And here, Intel Ethernet controller i225V. Windows has successfully updated your driver software. I want to see the version. Okay, so the correct version that works is 1.0.1.7. So you can see it already. We have internet access once again. I'll try the second port as well because the uh, Z590 Dark has two Ethernet ports. Okay, so even that will work. So you don't have to update both of the uh, ports. So both are working. I don't know what's the third one over here, but now both of them are working. So what we can do is try to... Uh, I'll do uh, a speed test, but in finished version. Yeah, this is uh, speedtest.com, like finished version, one of the... Uh, Internet service providers, almost uh, almost 1,000 megabyte me megabits down and upload on like 100. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, I might just upload the uh, these modified drivers straight for you guys, so you can just install them straight away, so you don't have to do the modding at all. So uh, I'll just post these in some Google Drive or similar, or where you can just download them straight away, so you don't have to modify these yourself. So uh, if you found this video helpful, then definitely try this. If you still want to use, let's say, like Windows 7, even uh, today with modern hardware, then I think this, vi this video should definitely help you out. I think I'll make a separate, like, Windows 7, like, installation guide video for the Z590 as well, later, just like I did on the Z390 and so on. But, yeah, so, modded. I'll upload these and, yeah download them if you wish to try this on your own system so uh, thanks for watching one of my videos once again give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on the next one